Welcome to our lecture online. There's an interesting relationship between the law of cosine and the dot product. Notice that if we have two vectors, a and b, with an angle between them, then we can then draw the vector of a minus b. And so if we want to know the magnitude of a minus b, essentially you take a look at that and say, well, if I know the magnitude of a and I know the magnitude of b, and under the angle between them, using the law of cosine, I should be able to find the magnitude of a minus b. So let's see how that works. Let's say that we're going to call that equal to the vector c. c is simply a minus b. And what we're going to do now is we're going to write c dot c. And c dot c can be written as follows. I say, well, let me give myself a little bit more room. I'm going to move that a little bit more to the left. So I'm going to call the vectors c dot c. Well, that would be equal to the quantity a minus b dotted with a minus b. And of course, c dot c, since the angle between c and c is 0, the cosine of 0 is 1, that's simply equal to c times c, or c squared. And so that will be equal to, that will be a dot a, minus a dot b minus a dot b because b dot b dot a is the same as a dot b so a dot b and then minus times minus would be plus b dot b all right simplifying that a little bit more i end up with c squared is equal to a dot a is simply a squared minus 2 a dot b because there's two of those and it's minus and then plus b squared and of course a dot b is a times b times the cosine between them so c squared is equal to a squared minus two times a times b times the cosine between the two and then plus b squared and if i rearrange the terms i can say that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of theta. And that, of course, is the law of cosine. And notice the law of cosine simply comes right out of using the dot product on those two vectors. And that's what the relationship is between the dot product and the law of cosine.